All right, good afternoon. Today, we're gonna replace the bilge pump on my boat. I made it all winter long, and this the only thing that went wrong with it is the bilge pump that came, that was in it, quit working, so. Today, we're gonna swap it out. I already cut the old one out a couple days back. So, the new one showed up. So we're gonna get this installed. And after that, the boat should be pretty much ready to go for the summer. All right, let's get down there and get some screws out of it. Shouldn't be too bad. I could probably leave this base here, but since I got a new one, as well use it. Driver's almost too tall to put down there. started most definitely did Ice over the winter, this thing sit and killed it, killed the old pump. I had it up at my friend's house up in Washington, and the whole bottom of this thing was completely full of ice. Turns out the boat cover doesn't really stop water from getting in it. Just keeps dirt and leaves and stuff out of it. But that part's in. Alright, grab the rest of it. Nope, oh, still need my screwdriver.
and take the screws back out of it and turn it. Oops. So I got it in the wrong orientation. I guess I should have looked at that before. I put it back in. now off so there's no power there. up here so they don't fall. power and white is ground. Oops. 
dropping stuff. Stripped back. Ain't cut that one. And yeah, maybe a little bit more on that one. Good. Yeah, I'll leave these this long. Why not? Won't hurt nothing. Oh, there we go. And of course I screwed it up. Well, that sucks. Alright, we'll start over. Brown to brown, black to white. It happens. Oh well. I got more butt connectors. This time I'll hook up this one first and then finish the other one. So at least this way I can't screw it up. Yeah, when I put this motor in this boat, this motor come out of a pickup truck that was fuel injected, so it doesn't have the uh, provisions for a manual fuel pump. So I got the electric pump there, so it all works. Let's see if I can light the boat on fire. No. Fire right next to a fuel tank or not. Keep stuff interesting. That's good. I burnt some hairs off my hand on that one. Now that those are nice and hot, let's try not to burn my fingers. Throw some more zip ties on it, make it nice. Get rid of this old zip tie down here. Yeah, I didn't, this motor didn't have a spot for a manual fuel pump and then I had to change the intake on it because 
from the original boat motor to this Vortec truck motor. The intake ports are in different spots, so I couldn't just swap an intake. I tried putting the heads off that old motor on this block, and it had the press in rocker arm studs, and for some reason, it pulled the rocker arm studs out of the original heads, so I had to put the heads that were original to this block back on it and then buy the right intake to go with those heads but after that it's been a pretty good boat it's worked so far we don't have a lot of time in it we've only had it out three or four times last summer since i've had it running so hopefully we'll be able to take it out more this year up right here and throw a zip tie on them. It works. Sweet. But nope, other than that, it's pretty much done and ready to go. It's not a bad little boat. It's not in horrible shape. What if we paid for it? It was a pretty good buy. Seats are a little beat up, but it happens. They sit in the sun too long and they dry up a little bit. I think that'll do it for this video. So, see everybody later.